What is up? Misha here doing an update on my health. Today I feel a lot better than I did yesterday. I noticed that um, the day before yesterday I was feeling pretty good so I didn't take as much St. John's wort as maybe I should have and then it didn't really kick in until the next day I felt really miserable and just like really hopeless and sad and crying a lot because I feel like I I wish I had more friends in real life and I'm really picky about people who I'm friends with. So, you know, if maybe if you're like, oh, I'll be your friend, maybe I won't like you. I don't know. Um, it depends on if you're vegan, if you're pro-life, if you, you know, basically believe in the law of life, then we could probably be friends and if you're not rude to me. But anyway, it seems like a lot of people don't fit into that, um, <laughs> sadly. And uh, it can make me really feel kind of sad and depressed, but I'm always able to take care of my kids and stuff. Just sometimes, you know, mommy's really sad all day and that can be hard on them and I feel bad for them. And so I want to be the best I can be for them so that they don't have to see me cry and stuff because I'm sure that's not, I mean, that can be traumatic. You know, I still get them their food and their water and do everything that I need to do to take care of them, but, you know... I was so like irritated yesterday because one of the babies was teething and not in such a good mood and I went for a walk and it's so hard for me to get out and like deal with people when I'm in pain and this guy kept like remarking on how my son looks grumpy and like wanted him to smile at him and I was like I'm starting to get irritated like dude he's not gonna smile and like at the same time I was like talking to my phone and I know like older generation they hate it when people talk to their phones and stuff but you know I'm actually talking to people I'm not just talking to myself here like um I don't have to greet every single person I pass when I'm trying to like, like go for a walk it's like it's kind of frustrating you know and of course I I always stop the video and say hi to people when they when I pass by them but I I feel like he was like really overkill like make your son smile at me what's wrong with your kids kind of like like oh my god they're fine I you know we've had a hard day because they're teething and they want to get outside and they don't like it when mommy's sad and stuff so anyway they throw their food everywhere and it's a lot of work cleaning up after them a lot of bending a lot of lifting they're really heavy but I've been kind of inspired lately by Bianca Taylor, like her workout videos. I've been kind of applying that to how I lift the kids. I know that sounds really weird, like looking at her in a gym and stuff, like lifting weights. But I'm just looking at them now like two big weights. And I was getting really depressed and like really anxious about these kids and my back injury and stuff. Like, oh my god, like they keep getting heavier and heavier and I gotta lift them all the time and it's so hard on my back and I was like, wait, I can like engage my legs more, engage my core more when I lift them and like act it act like it's kinda of more like a workout. Like give it like to kind of like give me a boost and think about like, ooh, I'm gonna get like a great body from this and I'm gonna get healthy from lifting these kids around, not have this attitude like, oh, what was me? I gotta lift my kids and it's gonna make my back injury worse and stuff. Like, I really gotta have good posture and really engage those muscles and, and you know, think positive and be happy even though I don't have friends around to cheer me up and stuff. And that can be really hard to be your own friend and cheer yourself up when you've had to do it your whole life, literally. Like, I had no <laughs> friends growing up and the ones I did have turned on me and stuff so I mean I have my husband and he works a lot so it's it's difficult to like um deal with the the loneliness and I'm not so much bored I can entertain myself all day I've got so many hobbies and interests and stuff like that and I'm the kind of person who's been able to for years on end just throw myself into my interests and not really think about having friends just because I was such a loner for so long but I'm already 28 years old and I'm just like I get so jealous of people who have 
close family and close friends and stuff like that and you know it's rough it's rough when it's hard to form relationships and stuff with people and uh, I'm I'm picky and maybe people will tell me I'm too picky about my friends but I've had a lot of really negative experience with people and people say oh you had friends you had you know they turned on me and turned out to not be very good people so it happens it happens a lot of the time and it can be really like hard to pick yourself back up again when people have treated you like shit but my husband's been like my solid rock like just like been with me through just the worst hell in my life just like there to support me and keeping me from hitting like total rock bottom and just like I owe him everything I owe him my life and I'm so thankful that he's there to help me when I was going through just like the worst shit he's my friend first of all and he didn't even really expect to like get any <laughs> love or anything from from me for helping me out you know he he probably thought that I wouldn't want to be with him or something you know and I I just want to be with the the best people and and he's the best person that I had ever met so I chose to be with him and it wasn't like some People get all kinds of weird ideas about our relationship because I got with him right after I got out of the relationship with my ex-boyfriend and who strangled me and sat on my back. But I was really emotionally not in that relationship for a long time because he had strangled me once before and I had completely forgotten about it until he had strangled me a second time and then the memory came back and I remember thinking, this is the second time, this is the second time. And now, still to this day, I can't remember the first time that he strangled me. So, it's really weird to have, like, missing memory like that. It's really creepy. And, like, I I needed a friend in my life at that time to help me see that I didn't deserve to be treated like that. And, you know, it may sound pathetic or something to some people, but it can be really hard to just rely on yourself alone to get out of a bad relationship like that. And, um... I'm not saying that a woman couldn't have helped me, maybe I could have had a strong female friend in my life to help me get out of that situation, but, but in that situation, a uh, male friend was what I really needed to help me see that I don't deserve to be treated like that. Anyway, so I've been doing a lot better, especially, you know, I mean, it's been five years since I've been with him, but anyway. I still am injured and I've been working on my injury a lot more lately. It's been hard work, you know, I it's kind of like a chore because people can get sick of working on themselves. I like to work on other things like my hair and my nails and my, you know, my makeup and stuff. I don't like to have to sit there and massage out my ribs and make them straighter. and. Um, massage my neck for hours on end but that's just what has to be done at this point and I need to focus less on having the nicest body in the world and focus more on having like the loosest neck in the world because then I'll have the nicest body ever <laughs> you know I don't want to necessarily top other women I just want to be the best version of myself you know, I think that there's room for everyone in this whole world to be beautiful. I don't think there's ever, like, a most beautiful person. I think that idea is so ridiculous. But anyway, I really value people who do their best to make themselves the best versions of themselves. And I think Bianca Taylor has really done that with her, with her physique and her hair and her face. She's just gorgeous. And she's got, like, glowing skin and beautiful hair and just a gorgeous gorgeous booty of course everyone wants to talk about her booty and she flaunts it and doesn't mind if people talk about it I'm sure anyway um her diet has helped me a lot even though I'm really not to the point where I can do a lot of um intense booty workout to really get like that huge butt just yet 
just like eating like her has helped me be on a more regular um my regularity has improved because I'm just eating more and I have a tendency to be in a lot of pain and that kills my appetite and um just not really worried about getting enough calories and just focus more on relieving my pain and that kind of led me to be in more pain because our bodies I think that my theory is that we need to keep pushing things through we're composting machines here on mother earth she wants more dirt you know so all this fruit and stuff needs to be broken down by something or someone and we're just another thing that does this and up the calories I up the calories I have more energy I feel like I'm healing faster anyway thanks Bianca Taylor <laughs> and I am working on growing out my hair long this is actually the longest it's been in a while it looks kind of thin because it's actually shorter in the back than it is in the front I did this really weird cut like I was like I was really angry after my cat died my blind kitty oh my gosh you know she is like really prone to infection anyway um I cut the whole back of my hair off after she died just in grief I don't know why I did that it just was like instinctual or something I just felt like I had to was, like, she was like my baby and so anyway so this part goes like here and then this part's long my husband's like don't cut your hair again I love it long so I've been growing it out long and I never really thought about hair being something that men even really care about or like that much. I thought men were just into the body. <laughs> um, I don't know. Like, I don't know what men like, but I mean, I, I, I personally want to look how he wants me to look. Not because I'm like some kind of, I don't know, brainwashed freak, but it's just like, it's just we have a relationship here and anyway. I don't feel like I need to explain myself. I want to get this longer. So I'm working on my avatar. I'm LARPing here. And I'm going to oil my hair more often and do some stuff like, um, what's her name? Steph or something? She's this vegan girl with super long red hair. And she's just beautiful. I'm sure everybody knows who she is because she's really famous. She has like 90k followers on YouTube. And she even responded to one of my comments. She's so sweet. Like, I was talking about how my mother told me I'm not allowed to be into, like, certain sexual stuff when I was 27. I'm like, mother, I'm not... Don't, don't tell me what I can and cannot do. I already know what everything is and I've known for a long time. Like, get out. Anyway, that's another long story, but I want to get this hair long like a fairy tale fairy tale princess and maybe make it like naturally of course because I hate doing anything kind of bleached to my hair but I want to bring out the blonde highlights more go in the sun more maybe put some lemon juice in it or something so I'm gonna do some more work on my avatar and do more LARPing and life no longer feels like a chore drudgery don't want to live kind of thing. A St. John's wort really helps like a lot and I'm a tough tough cookie like I can hang on when I feel like I don't even want to live anymore for like years on end <laughs> and just be like well I'm I'm here and I'll just be here like a rock kind of person so don't ever worry about me when I talk about my depression or whatever I'm I'm here for good you know, like, I, I, I took a, an oath when I came here that I'm going to stay here until something, something otherwise, whatever, so. I'm just, I can be a miserable fuck sometimes because of my pain level. It gets up to, like, you know, close to, close to childbirth, but not exactly, not as much anymore, but. Um, my ear pain at times was like sometimes equivalent I would say anyway I'm so glad it's not like that anymore I have to keep reminding myself how much less pain I'm in now than I was because sometimes I can forget but yeah
I'm getting better. Peace, everyone. Much love.